Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish video. So today we're going to carry on looking at Visual Basic. So the last time I showed you how to say hello in a message box and also place that button and we had a very quick look at some of the parts on Visual Basic, the form layout etc. So <coughs> Now let's just, I'm going with the flow here, I've got nothing really planned, but let's just move the button down here and let's make it smaller. Okay, so here you've got all your controls, so if we place out a label, and at the moment it's got auto size on, so basically if I type into this text here, and if I literally just type C C C C C said 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 said, it will now make it all fit. See, look, so it's auto sized to the text. But we can turn that off by going. I've got to find it now. If we scroll down. and here we go auto size so if we turn that to false now as you can see the sets are missing and we can drag down in the bottom right hand corner here and make it to what size we want so if we scroll back to the top here and if we remove all that text okay and now if we double click onto our button one to bring up our code instead of going message box hello we are now going to go so if we click down this arrow here it's called label one we're now going to go label one and then it's going to be dot text and then we're going to go equals open bracket so just like the message box we're going to now type in hello computer sluggish there you go so now if we go start now when I press this button it should hopefully come up with hello computer sluggish round about here in our label there you go so as you can see we got hello computer sluggish come up so that's pretty cool that's worked out fine okay so now let's if we go back to our form just so we know where this label is I'm just going to put test or actually let's change that to label or one okay so now we always know where that is that label okay so now let's grab what should we go with here? How about a group box? Okay, so basically a group box. If we change the size of it, basically all you do with the group box is just place all your form controls in it, and then it kind of gives the form a slightly nicer look. Okay, and then we can change the group box so well the group box name sorry so let's just change that to form test and there you go as you can see we've got form test come up for the group box and if we go start here there you go form test and if we go hello we've got hello computer sluggish okay so you can also change the font and the font size so let's go with 12 so it comes up nice and big and we're going to go with bold there you go as you can see label one is showing us what it's going to look like and let's change the font let's go saying slightly nicer okay so let's go with mm, let's go with impact 
the let's go regular so it's slightly easier to read okay so also you can change the full color so we can change the color if we want to change it so go on to custom let's go with a green color mm, that's a bit horrible okay let's go with like a blue color there you go so now if we go start as you can see label one it's there hello computer sluggish okay but now your question might be how do i remove that label one from showing when i build up the form so we're going to select label one again and this time we're now going to go visible we're going to go false so basically what that's telling it to do is don't show the label on the form okay so we don't want to see it at all so now we need to go back to our code for the button and so once we've changed the text for label one because it's not visible we've now got to go label one dot visible we're now going to go equals because it's false we're going to go true so now it's going to become visible once we click that button okay so now if we go start as you can see it's not come up with label one but now if we press hello there you go hello computer sluggish i hope you like this video um please hit that like button and subscribe for more